Welcome to Latin with Andy, Code Breakers. These videos are to help you follow along with the Code Breakers at home worksheets. So if you have not downloaded them, please click the link, purchase them, and subscribe so that you can further enhance your Latin experience. Today we'll be talking about prepositional phrases. All right, Code Breakers, here comes the vocab challenge. See if you can tell me the Latin word for garden. That's right, hortus horti. How about friend? I think you got it, amicus amici. How about slave? Servus servi. Sword? Gladius gladii. Roman? This one's pretty easy. Romanus romani. And then Christian. That's it. Christianus, Christiani. Two more. Son. Filius, filii. And God. You got it. Deus, dei. Continue to practice memorizing your vocabulary words. Let's review prepositions. Remember that prepositions are the branches that connect nouns together. They're the little tiny words that relate one noun to another. So if we were to have a toy and the box, then we could easily relate the two together. They could just be sitting in other rooms, but we could relate them to another saying that the toy maybe is in the box, or it's under the box, or above the box, or around the box, or close to the box. <laughs> so use prepositions to relate two nouns together. It's pretty easy. Let's see if we can translate a sentence containing a prepositional phrase. One word at a time, though. Let's start with poetam. All right, the ending there is am, first declension, right? So the ending is going to be masculine, singular, accusative. Uh-oh, that means we have a direct object. Where did the subject go? Well, you know, usually when we don't see a subject, that means it might be in the verb. But we'll get there. Next word we have is a preposition. The cool thing is that the Latin word for in is in, so it makes it pretty easy to remember. <laughs> Alright, so we have a preposition, and then the next word after that must be the object of the preposition, porta. And looking at that ending, the A with the macron, we see that that is the feminine singular ablative form. So yes, that is an object of the preposition. And now let's check the verb. Wident. You see the NT? That means it's plural, so even if we thought that poetam might be the subject, it can't work because poetam is singular and wident is plural. Remember, the subject and the verb have to match. So the subject of our sentence is actually going to be contained in the verb, they see. So we'll translate they see, and now what do they see? Well, they see the poet in the gate. I'm not really sure what the poet is doing there in the gate, but we'll leave the poet to his own business. <laughs> Great job, Codebreakers, working on translating. Fantastic, Codebreakers. Remember to review your vocabulary cards. Practice declining your second declension nouns. And remember that prepositional phrases always have prepositions. So look for them. See you later.